Hey, how's it hanging everybody? So I know what brought you today. It's not this beautiful looking face over here. You tried to go online the other day and you tried to get Brian Wampler's latest creation, the Mafetta, and it was sold out like that. Well, we were lucky enough to get one right here. So today, we're gonna take a look at it. Going on with the tradition of unbagging pedals, if you don't know what I'm talking about, rewind back to this part of this video over here and look for the video up above and take a look at our other unbagging of pedals. I guess bagging isn't so bad. The Ma Feta, Brian Wampler. Let's unbox it and take a look and see what's inside. And here we have it, the Mafetta from Brian Wampler. If you don't know who Brian Wampler is, you've probably been living on a deserted island with a beach volleyball. Anyway, Brian Wamper is basically the Mr. Wizard of effects pedals. He finds a unique pedal that has very big popular appeal, and he not only replicates it, but he makes it better. He adds his own tweaks and his little things to it to make it sound that much better and give you much more variety in this pedal. So if you don't know what the Moffetta is based upon, it's based upon the Ibanez Mastortion, which was part of their Pedal Power series back in the early 90s. Uh, hopefully some of you were born around then, but you may have seen them before they're on reverb and they're being gouged for like two three four times the price of this thing depending on who's listing it and he said not on my watch but the Mastortion is a very popular pedal especially in the Nashville music scene especially with the session players so what's different from this review than any other review you've probably seen a whole bunch already with great musicians but you haven't seen one from a garbage player yet so this is what it's most likely probably gonna sound like when you get it home. This is an unsponsored video. I mean, come on, who would sponsor me anyway? But it's my unbiased, unprofessional opinion, and hopefully it helps you decide on whether this is gonna be your next purchase. Let's check this thing out. We're gonna run this through my Fender Stratocaster into the Marshall DSL-40, just running strictly on a clean channel, and we'll just maneuver the knobs over here. I'm gonna try it up on a setup over here so you could see them. And I could maybe zoom in so you can see what the settings are at that time. Clean tone for reference.
out of the park again. I can't believe it. I was thinking that I was probably just gonna review this thing and then put it up on reverb. And I don't know, I mean, it's gonna be really tough to park with this thing. There's nothing I didn't like about this. It is, I tell you, I've owned several of his pedals and every time I've gotten rid of one of them, I've always been like, why did I do that? Well, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. You'll see a lot more videos like this, and we really appreciate you tuning in. Check out our community tab while you're on our page. You've been a fantastic audience, and as always, stay tuned.